Okay, it's Lucy again. Back on to show you some other stuff I got from scrapbook.com. Now, I swore I wasn't going to buy any more Halloween. No, I have enough Halloween. I got two collections, and I didn't want even one, but I ended up with two because, you know, that graphic 45 Midnight Tales is to die for. And then, the you know, Frank Garcia came out with 31, and Frank Garcia doesn't usually do Halloween. So, yes, I had to have those. So, but then I saw the Simple Stories one and it was just darling and bright colors and I had to have that. So these are free. I got these free. It looks like they're from Prima and they do match that 31 collection as well. So I got two packs because I made two orders with, um, with scrapbook.com. So then I got the collection and um, you've probably all seen it. I'm just going to show you a snippet there of what the, the papers look like. So I love it that they have this green. I really like the green in the collections. I also like purple, but it doesn't look, well, it looks like there might be one purple sheet in here. Um, I didn't open this before you guys came on board. So, um, so I'm not gonna open, try to struggle to open it right now. Uh, maybe it won't be so much a struggle. I've got these nails right. Might as well use them for something. Hmm. There we go. That was easy. Ooh, beautiful. So let's look at it together. I haven't seen it. I just got it today. Opened it up during my lunch hour. This is the 6x8 pad. Oh, I could, everything I see, I see, oh, a mini album. I've got so many mini albums going. So this is kind of like, um, it's like a gray. But it looks a little bit on the purple side. Grayish plum, maybe. And then here's the other side to the other one. Just go through it a little bit quickly. Dots. This. See, it's spooky. A stripe. Polka dot. Skeletons. And, of course, I gotta have spider webs. Stars, spectacular. Yeah, this would be really nice for a December daily. And I might end it up using this as the December, I mean the October daily. I might end up just using this for October daily because it looks like I've lost the other collections to mini albums. Because I just thought of mini albums when I saw Frank Garcia's 31. And I'm almost done with it. I'll show you. Probably this weekend I'll finish it. And then, um, then I'm going to start on Midnight Tales by Graphic 45, and you know I'm not a Graphic 45 big, I'm not a big fan of it, but this paper just, you know, I loved it. My husband said we were at the store, and he goes, oh, did you look at the Graphic 45 stuff? I'm like, nah. And then on, at an end cap, right on the way out by the cashier, they had already rung me up, it was already over 200 bucks, and um, I was like, okay, I've got enough stuff, and then I turned around and saw Midnight Tales at the end cap, and I'm like, oh no. I've got to have this. So I got the Midnight Tales and I'm going to make an album out of that. Um, but, oh, I like that it has this color. That's pretty. The light blue and the green and the ghosties. Yeah, this would be perfect because I do 6 by 8 and look at that. It's it's already there, 6 by 8 So now it looks like it's a repeat. So I'm not going to show it all to you. But I got that and I got the puffy stickers. And then I got ephemera, of course. And then I got the collection kit. The collection kit doesn't have ephemera. It has these that are called journal bits, which is what I like even better. So it lets you write. You know how you get ephemera and it's like this? And you can't write on it or anything? It's, it's, it's ephemera, right? But I like that um, Simple Stories does give you journal bits. They think of the story. And I really love that. appreciate that. And so washi tape comes with this and this pattern, which I love. And then you get, of course, a sticker sheet. And then you get all these. This is what comes in the in the collection kit. Chipboard stickers are going to be in there, bits and pieces. And then um, these stickers. And then the paper, 12 by 12. So I got that. And then a couple of weeks ago, I haven't shown you yet, I went to... Um, Frank Garcia's site and I found some no I went to I, I was 
on YouTube and I saw some lady go into the Frank Garcia studio and I'd never been in there. So she, she walks in and she's videotaping and um, she was, um, there was one table that had these collections that were absolutely jaw dropping to me. They were beautiful. And so um, I looked it up and it was this company called 49, 49 and Market and I didn't even know about that company. And so they had, I bought like four collections, I think, from Frank Garcia. But one of the collections, the Coral, um, they didn't have it. So they called me and said, we only have the, and they only had the baubles for that. This isn't the baubles for it. This is the baubles for blush. But they only had the baubles for Coral. And that's all I ended up with. And I was like disappointed because I didn't have, you know, they called me, do you want to substitute something else? And so I said, yeah, I'll take the um, Vicky Booten's Christmas collection and, and her ephemera. So they gave me that instead. But um, so this paper um, is what it is. So I found it at scrapbook.com and I got two of each sheet. And what it is is, look at how pretty it is. Look at this paper. It looks kind of vintage, but like with a modern edge to it. Not totally vintage, but I absolutely love it. It's not real busy, that's what I like. And it's so incredibly, like, look, it doesn't even bend. It's incredibly thick. This is thicker than Cartabella. It is so thick, but I absolutely love it. And so this is the back to it. See right there, I've gotta think of something creative to do with it. So that's one, that's one sheet. And then here's another. Tell me that's not just like absolutely gorgeous. I love it, and so. I got this one, and I'm not real into vintagey paper, but I just, something about this, you know, like this one, how simple it is, and just clear, you know, it's not, it's not busy, busy, okay, it's not like Frank Garcia busy, you know, his paper is really busy, but this is just simple, simple, and look at that, just the etching part of it, you could watercolor that if you want, that is so pretty. I'm sure this paper will stand up to it. Like I said, it's good, maybe good for a mini album that you're going to add um, gesso to and 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 work over, you know. Or I could see this with the ruffles, with the edges, you know, frayed. I could see it as a mini album. So they have that page, and they don't have that many pages. I think there's only um, there's only like four different patterns, um, and they give you like one sheet of each. Isn't that pretty? And I don't know if this went with it. I think it does, but it has a little different inch. It, it goes anyway, because it's got that color right in there, but it adds the blue. So I absolutely love this one. And I got two of those. And then I got them again, see down there. So with that came um, um, with a pack of this. That This is for the blush one. But it came with coral, with the coral ephemera, and I haven't found the coral ephemera. So I did buy the blush ephemera because I didn't. Ha they didn't give me that either. And then I did buy um, the baubles in blush. But I. Do this is for another collection that's more pink. See how this collection has more pink? So this other collection. But I love that it has this. This is just a lot of little, like odds and ends. Look at that. It reminds me of um, one lady on YouTube, um, Genevieve. Yeah, Jen of Eve, I think is her name. I love her stuff. Um, and this reminds me of her. It, it's like so like her style. Anyway, I think that's it. That's what I got. Um, thanks for being here with me on this Thursday night. Thanks. Bye.